Welcome back to GMA3 Live Pictures. You see him there from Lower Manhattan, just across from the courthouse, where today former President Trump faces the judge inside that building in Manhattan during his arraignment. As we've mentioned, it's a pivotal moment in history. Trump is the first former president in American history to be indicted on criminal charges. The details of those charges have not yet been released, but we understand from sources there are about 20 counts being brought against him. And here to discuss more is Assistant Dean for the Yale Jackson School of Global Affairs, Asha Rangappa. We want to welcome you, Asha. Thanks so much for being with us. So let's get right to it. Trump will be arraigned in just a matter of hours. Take us through what is happening today. And what are we watching for? Well, the big event today is the unsealing of the indictment. Trump is going to go through the procedure. He's going to be informed of the charges. He's going to put in his plea, and then he's going to be released. But what we're most interested in is the nature of these charges. And they center around payments that were made to Stormy Daniels in order for her to remain silent about her alleged affair with Trump and Trump's repayment of that that settlement, I guess, to his lawyer, Michael Cohen. The issue here is that these repayments were recorded as legal services, as payments for legal services to Cohen. And under New, New York law, this constitutes falsification of business records. The big issue here is that that's a misdemeanor. It would be very unusual for a Manhattan prosecutor to charge a former president with a misdemeanor. But if Bragg can show that these records were falsified to commit another crime, it can become a felony. And we're looking to see, has he alleged another felony crime that will bump this up? Asha, uh, so we've heard that there are at least 20 counts against the former president. And as you mentioned, and we need to continue to point out, we have not seen the indictment. It is unsealed. It will be unsealed later on today uh, at the arraignment. But knowing what you know about what we're thinking these charges are, what are you expecting to see in court? So there are a few different legal theories. This seems to be focusing on a campaign finance violation, uh, which is that if these payments were made in order to uh, have Stormy Daniels remain silent, that would have been a benefit to the campaign. Um, that should have been disclosed as a, an in-kind campaign contribution. And the idea here is that, you know, this benefit of the campaign because her silence kept a material fact from being known to voters who, you know, may have impacted their vote. Um, there are other avenues, though, that I'm looking out for. Will the DA uh, link this to, say, a tax crime or filing a false document, you know, with, with a government entity? So there are a few different theories that could play out, and that's what I'm looking for here. This is not the only legal issue Trump is facing. January 6th investigations are ongoing. There's the investigation of the voting fraud in Georgia and the classified documents being found at his Florida home. Why is this case in New York happening now? Is it different than the other cases? Well, remember that over the last year, the Manhattan DA has criminally prosecuted the Trump organization, as well as Trump's Trump organization CFO, Alan Weisselberg. And I suspect that maybe in the course of that investigation, new evidence came out that made this case more, more prosecutable, I guess. Um, it does seem on its face like an outlier with some of these other cases, but I actually think that in the theme, it has more in common with the Georgia case about election interference and January 6th because of what I mentioned before that this could involve campaign finance disclosures and really an attempt to conceal an, uh, a material fact from voters. And all eyes will be watching to see exactly what is in that indictment. Assistant Dean for the Yale Jackson School of Global Affairs, Asha Rangappa, thank you so much for being with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.